What's going on guys, I'm not magic here. Got some Black Ops 1 Team Deathmatch. Uh, you guys, last video, the comments, you guys seem to be really digging it, so. That is great, because this game is kind of holding my attention for the time being, so uh, I'm liking it. I'm actually ranking up, so I'm not even a full prestige yet or anything like that. Or level 55, 50, I don't remember what it was. But yeah, so it's kind of fun ranking up and everything. Dedicated servers are sweet. Uh, but this gameplay is a Team Deathmatch. I get like three different Blackbirds. Uh, drop like 40 kills, so good stuff, good stuff. Uh, I kind of have two things I want to talk about. Obviously, the first one is that I'm going to be telling the story about my first kiss. Pretty heavily requested video topic for a long time now. It's been pretty consistent. Um, and I'm also going to make kind of a big announcement. I'm going to do the announcement first, just so I can get it out of the way. So, myself and Jordan, Legit Gaming 360, Goon Productions, whatever... We actually made a channel together, a second channel, kind of a collaboration channel. And essentially, like, what's going to be going on there is just tons of stuff. But, like, the main thing would be, you know, just the life stories that you guys love, the advice videos. So, actually, you could start sending your messages in, your personal messages in to that channel. Uh, I know myself and Jordan will both be doing a ton of advice videos. We're going to be doing dual commentaries. Um... Not really sure what else Jordan has planned, but I'm sure we'll think of more things. If you guys have any ideas for us, you could leave it in the comments of this video or the channel or tweet it at us, whatever. Uh, there should be a video going up on Tuesday tomorrow, so look forward to that. Go subscribe. It's going to be great. I'm telling you right now, it's going to be great. Uh, we might also bring in some other commentators every now and then just to keep it fresh. I'm not really sure. We'll play it by ear, but it's going to be a sweet channel. I'm guaranteeing it right now. Go subscribe. Uh, so this video, my first kiss... Uh, I was actually going to do my first time making out, however, I just couldn't fit it into this video. And, you know, if I, like, that's going to be a long video in itself, and so to try to combine that with the announcement of the channel, which, by the way, the channel, there should be annotations or link in the description, uh, but the channel is actually called Chill Stories, uh, so C-H-I-L-S-T-O-R-I-E-S. Uh, go check it out, seriously, it's fucking great. Um, so Chill Stories is what the channel is called. Um, but with that announcement and then me trying to talk about that, I mean, it's a really detailed story. It just wasn't happening. So I figured I'd do this video, which is less detailed. This one's like my first time making out is a lot more exciting. This one's more nostalgic, both equally entertaining. Um, both are going to be freaking great. You guys, by the way, your responses and your like comments and your ratings, all that fucking phenomenal these past few days. I just wanted to thank you guys. I think my sexting videos almost at a thousand likes it's crazy uh so thank you guys for that but uh anyways into the end of the video Drew, start your videos already yeah whatever um so my first kiss kind of an awkward i think awkward is the best word to describe it if i would use one word to describe it it's awkward this whole relationship was awkward and i think i've already talked this is about my first girlfriend uh, I, it's kind of a weird scenario in itself in that I don't really know if she's my first girlfriend. She's, I consider her my first girlfriend. However, like as a elementary schooler, I kind of had this other girl, like a friend of the family's and like we would kiss, but it's not like there was nothing romantic. It wasn't like a boyfriend girlfriend thing. I don't know what she considered it as, but I don't count that. So my first girlfriend, sixth grade. Um, and that is where I'm starting off. You know, the relationship in itself was awkward. We just, there was long periods of times where we would be like walking, just me and her, and neither one of us was talking at all. And it was just, it was an unpleasant awkwardness that I just didn't like at all. It was my first girlfriend. You can't blame me. I mean, it was, I was kind of just getting into the dating scene and everything. I was a little timid, intimidated, whatever. Um, so what was happening with this whole kissing thing for a while? It was just me and her would hug. We'd hold hands. Our big thing was hugging though. We would hug for like five, 10 minutes straight. No kisses or anything. Just hugging really kind of weird, but whatever it was our thing. Okay. Don't, don't, don't make fun of me. Self-conscious about it. Anyways. Um, so one day I just kind of thought I kind of want to kiss her. And she actually had a cold, so that gave me a perfect, like, I was fine with that. It gave me a perfect excuse to not actually have to kiss her on the lips. That was my big thing, like, oh, I'm scared to kiss her on the lips. Um, I don't know if I was scared. I was just kind of, like, I didn't really, I don't know. It was a new thing for me. Dating was a new thing, and so I was a little worried, scared, intimidated, using, like, the same three words over and over. So, finally, we're hugging, hugged for, like, ten minutes, and I just go in, and I give her a nice kiss on the cheek. For me, I was fucking, like, top of the world. I'm feeling great. Step up in my 
dating experience, I guess you could call it, I leveled up. Fucking yeah. <laughs> um, and so she texts me later on. She's like, oh, yeah, thanks for the kiss. You know, I thought everything was going great. So we do. I, I'm doing that for like a week straight. And finally, she starts doing it back. She starts giving me kisses on the cheek when she gets over her whole sickness thing. Um, and it was, I was feeling great. I thought the relationship was going perfectly. And she texts me one day and she says that she isn't really enjoying our relationship. It's too awkward. We're not even kissing each other on the lips. She's bored. Fucking girl is getting bored and really, that's like the ultimate insult. Ladies, just break up with me. Don't tell me you're bored. Make you excited. Um, so anyways, uh, I kind of was like really worried about this. Like, cause I thought the relationship was going great. I was like, this relationship's awesome. And so one day she goes in to give me a kiss on the cheek and I didn't even think about it without even like trying to plan anything out. I just make a split second decision and I turn my head to give her a kiss. And what she does, she basically takes my self-esteem in her hand and just crushes it. Just fucking like, you know when you take an egg and you just like squish it and you're, you guys probably don't do that. I never, I don't do it either. That was a terrible analogy. She crushed my self-esteem because she pulled away. I go in to give her a kiss and she just pulls away and kind of like looks at me and I'm just like, are you kidding me? Like you're saying you're bored and everything and you won't even let me kiss you. This is really awkward. So finally, one day we're all at lunch and you know, it's kind of a group of friends around us and everything. They're not like surrounding us or anything. It's just like we're with a bunch of group of friends. We're sitting on the table. And my friend kind of puts me on blast. He's like, Drew, you should kiss her. You haven't kissed her yet. And so I'm just like, dude, shut up. And then everyone kind of starts chiming in like, dude, you should kiss her. You should kiss her. So finally, we just kind of look at each other and we go in and we kiss. And that was it. There's there's literally nothing else that happens. Like, and it, I was kind of like, I was stoked, but I, it wasn't the same feeling I had when I first kissed her on the lips. I don't know. I think it was because I got pressured into it. Wasn't fond of that. Funny thing, the next girlfriend I got after that girlfriend, I kissed her the day I asked her out. Like, my friend, like, put me on blast again, but it was the same day I asked her out. So I was like, fuck yeah, dude. Asked her out and kissed her same day. I'm stepping up. I'm, I'm leveling up again. <laughs> so anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this story. Let me know what your first kiss was like. Uh, leave me a rating. The ratings are fucking helping my channel so much. I can't thank you guys enough. Go check out Chill Stories, too. I'm so stoked for that channel. I can't even explain it. Um... And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you guys all enjoyed. I'll see you guys later. All right, peace.